Hello everyone. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Paul from Zonkir. Um, today we are going to talk about the why pH monitoring is important in the treatment of the um, COVID-19 patients. Um, today there are about million cases confirmed um, globally. Um, this is a war, the human with the um, virus. The weapons for the human is the equipment to make the patient cure. So widely used is the ventilator patient monitor. So why the patient monitor is important in this treatment? As we know, the patient monitoring, um, we can measure uh, some bed size for parameters, bed size parameters for the patients, like the ECG, like the SpO2, blood pressure, and the respiration, and the, even the temperature. Uh, those are quite important bed size during this, um, when we, uh, judgment which type of uh, patient uh, right now so normally according to our study there are three types uh, the novel coronavirus pneumonia can be divided into three types according to the observatory of uh, symptoms three types including the my type the server type and the critical type uh, my type clinic symptoms only low fever, slighter fatigue, and uh, no pneumonia. Several type, um, we can find the respiration uh, distress and uh, also the decrease of the SpO2. The critical type, the critical patients in a dangerous situation and uh, the critical patients will be rapidly developed into the acute respiratory distress syndrome. So how the doctors know which type of the patient is right now? So normally they will go to uh, check from the x-ray and uh, also uh, to, see, to see the imaging or even the ultrasound to check the imaging of the patient. Uh, the non uh, images. So also they can check from the um, patient monitor the bed side values, uh, the parameter values of, from the patient monitor. For example, the, the temperature. The temperature. Uh, if the for the mild type patient, maybe the temperature is about uh, uh, thirty-seven point five, around thirty-seven point five. For the, also they can also check the SpO2. SpO2, the, uh, if the, the normal people, the SpO2 is about um, 90, 95% to 100%. But if the patient is lower than 95%, then they were considered to the uh, server type or if, even the uh, a critical patient, the SpO2 can reduce to the um, like sixty uh, percent. So uh, another important um, parameter is the respiration. The normal people, the respiration is about uh, sixteen to twenty times per minute, but uh, for the um, critical patients, maybe they can. Uh, reach to 40 times for a minute. So right now we find out there are a lot of uh, medical stops that are effective um, during the take care of the patients. So this is a high risk for them to check the patient uh, frequently. And uh, But uh, recently there are news from FDA they released uh, FDA allowed expanded use of devices to 
monitor patients' websites remotely. And uh, so our patient monitoring system is quite uh, useful for this function. So next, uh, I would like to introduce um, our central monitor system, how to use it in the remotely. And uh, so first, our system we can connect by the connect to the internet first by the uh, Wi-Fi or the line. Uh, so it can transfer the um, uh, the data uh, directly by the internet. So we can uh, if the patient is in home or they're transferring or in the ICU, so the doctors, uh, the medical staffs, they can check in uh, another place. First, we need to set the uh, uh, network. Okay, so first we need the devices connected to the, the internet. First, we connect by the Wi-Fi. Then we go to the menu. Then the system setup. So you can find the, the Wi-Fi here. Uh, we already connected one. Then we go to the central monitor system setup. So here you can find out the uh, IP of the central monitor system. Then, next we can go to the central monitor system to check. So we can uh, use a laptop or the iPad or the um, uh, smartphone. So next we will take the iPad as a sample. So this is an iPad and uh, we use the Google Browser and uh, we have an online uh, system so you can uh, we'll send you the, the link then apply a username and a password for you so then you can input the uh, username and password okay I will demonstrate by my uh, password, okay? Okay, when I logged in, uh, I can find that there are all, uh, already two devices online. One is this one, and another one is in my another office. So this software is quite uh, easy and user-friendly. And the uh, maximum you can connect to uh, 32 beds. And you can also choose to different format, uh, different format to, to show. For example, I can choose, uh, so you can see the, the maximum is uh, 32. Okay, and now I choose the 42 format. Then we will check out. So you can monitor uh, eight beds in the same time. And the alarm is also quite important for the medical staffs. And uh, here, go to the system setting, then we can find out the alarm setting here. Then we need the password. The password is the same as the login password. Then uh, when you go inside, you can uh, do the volume uh, adjustment. Okay, then you can find out, uh, you can switch on or off, or you can measure, uh, change the volume. 
Okay, so we want this then, this system help um, uh, more and more people and uh, also keep their medical staffs uh, uh, avoid the effective. So today is an uh, important day for our city, Wuhan. Uh, 8 um, April 2020. Uh, after 76 days lockdown, uh, we restart day. Uh, it's a good sample for um, the other cities too. Uh, we make it and uh, I think the other cities can make it too. Let's fight together and uh, we will win the war. So if you have more questions about how to use the system and uh, how its system works, so you can uh, leave the messages after this video. Thank you for watching.